and welcome to day one of a brand new Zero to Hero challenge. So, if you've seen the other video, you know that our last attempt to try to make Imperial Troopers work, um, to try to make First Order a focus, and to use First Order in the fleet arena has failed. First Order ships are just not strong enough to compete at a high level in the fleet arena. They aren't going to unlock the nodes that we need. They aren't going to unlock um, what we need to have going. And as such, they're not going to generate the fleet income. They're not going to get us into the top 10 of a fleet. And as a free-to-play player, that's a huge blow. So welcome to day one. Now, this particular challenge or this particular approach, farming plan, challenge, however you want to call it, our goal is still the same. We want to get to Supreme Leader Kylo Ren as quickly and as efficiently as possible. But along the way, we want to build strong teams that compete at all levels at Squad Arena, Fleet Arena, GAC, uh, Galactic War, etc. And in order to get us there, we are going to go with the Separatist start. So Separatist is... Uh, our long-term goal for Separatists is to get us into a full Geonosian squad with uh, Genosian Brood Alpha, and he doesn't unlock until 83. So in the meantime, we put Nuke Gunray in there, along with his buddies Geo Soldier, Geo Spy, Sunfac, and um, we'll toss in, and Poggle the Lesser. They're all fairly easy unlocks. Poggle comes from the Galactic War store, uh, Nuke comes from the Squad Arena store, um, and Sunfac comes from the Guild store. So those are your first farms, and right out of the bat, uh, on node one is Geo Soldier. So on the first day, I was able to get Geo Soldier from zero to almost three stars, which is 50, shard, 50 shards. So I got almost 50 shards of him on one day. Uh, I should be able to have him at seven stars within a week or two, and then we can move on to Spy as our second farm, and KRU as our third farm. And we may switch that up depending on how far in we are and how much crystal income we have because we do want KRU to be really strong by the time we get to fleet. But Spy is also super important too. Um, I don't know how long it will take us to unlock Sunfac. It will probably be a little while because you don't really start getting great guild income until you start hitting a 7 star into the, no, into the um, uh, heroic rates and also into territory war and territory battle as well. So day one farming is Geo Soldier here uh, in Cantina, um, and Anakin and uh, Ashoka in <clears throat> as part of our second team in light side and dark side battles. So um, Ashoka comes into one B light, and Anakin comes into one B dark, and they fall into our into our second team, which is a Jedi squad. And we'll be using uh, Ashoka and Anakin. They also have great ships, so they'll be very good in GAC as well as uh, to help us push through some of the harder nodes and that kind of stuff. They'll unlock Grand Master Yoda for us, and we're going we're gonna to go ahead and invest in Luminara. Uh, she comes out of the Galactic War store, so she'll be at the farm after Poggle uh, in between uh, extra ships and that kind of stuff too. And Bastila will be a hard node farm. Uh, she is on... Uh, 5B dark side, and she's also in fleet nodes, a hard fleet node as well, and um, and then we're also going to toss in Qui-Gon Jinn, who comes out of the Cantina store, which is also where Ashoka comes out of as well, so we'll be focusing Ashoka primarily, and we'll go ahead and lock Qui-Gon Jinn to make this squad go. He gives you a nice little uh, Jedi lead until you get Bastille uh, unlocked, and she unlocks at 25, so she's not that hard of a farm. It's maybe a week or so to get her unlocked once you get to her note. Not that big of a deal. And we'll keep working on these guys. We'll get them all to seven stars so we can get Yoda to seven star as well and bring him in. Uh, one of the flaws of this particular approach, without going for Phoenix to start with, which is a boring, annoying team to, to have to farm, is you don't have any Rebels. So you have no Thrawn and you have no Palpatine. Uh, eventually you'll come back and get those guys, probably with the team that you go and get... Um, what do you call it, uh, CLS with. So you'll eventually get there, but you don't have him to start with. So that makes your Empire Squad very, very weak, which means slower to get R2. We'll toss him Empire together to get R2. He's not a super hard unlock. And when we have extra gear and extra money and extra income, it won't be that big a deal. Right now, these are the 10 characters that we're f focusing on. If they're not one of these 10, we're not going to put a ton of resources into them. Um, the other thing is uh, KRU. 
So he is probably going to end up being the backup tank in the Ge Geonosians until we get uh, Sunfac unlocked as the tank. And um, he's a great tank. He's really, really effective in his role. I've actually had Galactic War fights with him where I let it run for 25 minutes and nobody ever died. Unfortunately, he doesn't kill anything either, but that's a different story. So he's kind of wet noodly hitty, but he does have a shit ton of, of, of defense and really hard to beat. So he's a nice one to have on the defense there uh, when you're trying to hold your squad arena ranks. And he has a really good ship, and he'll be one of our ships that we use in arena uh, with the Geo Trio. Plus, we're also going to be farming Vulture Droid to go with the Geo Trio. And that is the real key to making the Geo Trio into a monster team. So Vulture Droid has really, really effective things, including his reinforcement ability that blinds everyone. So you get a full turn of them not attacking uh, when you have the Vulture Droid as a reinforcement. And if you're talking tossing K or U as well, he has a stun. So between that, you can really control the fight, do a lot of damage. Geos hit super hard when there's a bunch of Geos out there because Spy has a ability that calls all Geos to attack really, really strong. So we're going to work on Geos Soldier first. And then Spy and KRU and Poggle uh, with the unlock. And Poggle will probably end up being our first seven star uh, within probably two weeks or so out of the Galactic War store, which we'll probably hit on day three, maybe day four, uh, once we hit level 40. So uh, with that, we'll be back when we unlock Galactic War. And actually, we'll probably be back for the finale of the Rebel event. And then we'll be back for Galactic War. So a couple days from now, we'll come back. We'll show you where we're at, how we're farming. I will get the farming guide together and put it up uh, with the update uh, on a new link and attach it into the description as soon as I have it ready. It'll be a couple days, maybe a week before it's ready. So Grum the Third is born. Good luck. Oh, the other thing I want to talk about before we go. It is very, I, I mentioned before, it's very important to get your allies and get your guild as soon as possible. Um... I posted a I, – I didn't want to use my contacts in the game or anything like that, so I just posted a generic anonymous link on the Star Wars Galaxy Hero forum boards, and uh, there's a forum there for new players. I posted who I was, what I was doing, that I was building the Geos first, active, regular player, looking for a guild, got a offer within the first day of 150 GP guild, 150 million GP guild that's doing all heroics, no problem. So – that's your goal, is to get into that level of guild that's doing all heroics so you can start getting the Han shards, the Treya shards, and the Kenobi shards, uh, as well as the guild event token currencies, and start saving all that stuff up and get you going into the game. So, I'll get you out.